Hey everyone, welcome back to Code With Me. Today, we finally reached the final project of our C programming course, where we'll build a library management system from scratch. This project will combine everything we've learned so far, from arrays, functions, file handling, pointers, structures, and memory management. Imagine managing a real-life library with thousands of books. We'll create a program that can add new books, search for books, issue and return books. This is where C programming shines in handling complex tasks. Let's get started by creating the book structure. Think of a structure like a box that holds different types of information about a book, like the book ID, title, author, and status. C hasher include steedio.h, include stlib.h, include string.h, struct book, int id, char title 50, char author 50, int is issued, slash, zero for available, one for issued. Now we'll store the books in an array and use file handling to save the data permanently. Let's create a function to add a new book to the system. Void add book, struct book new book, file file equals fopen library dot dat a b, printf enter book id, scanf ascent d a new book dot id, get char, clear input buffer, print enter book title, f gets new book dot title 50 stood in, print f enter author name, f gets new book dot author 50 stayed in, new book dot is issued equals zero, f w write a new book size of struct book, one file, f close file, print f book added successfully n. Next, we'll create a function to display all books in the library. Void display books, struct book book, file file equals fopen library dot date rb, while fred and book size of struct book one file, printf id sent d headle sense author sent status sent n, book dot id book dot title book dot author book issued, issued available f close file. Now, let's issue a book to a borrower using pointers. Void issue book, struct book book, int book id, found equals zero. File file equals fop and library date rb plus. Printf, enter book id to issue, scanf ascent d and book id. While freed in book, size of struct book, one file. If book id book id and in book that is issued equals zero, book is issued equals one. Mark is issued, f seek file, nine size of struct book, seek cur. F write in book, size of struct book, one file. Printf, book issued successfully n. Found equals one, break. If found, printf, book not found or already issued, n. F close file. To return a book, we'll simply change the status back to available. Void return book, struct book book, int book id, found equals zero. File file equals fopen library.date rb plus. Printf, enter book id to return. Scanf sent d and book id while freed and book size of struct book one file. If book.id equals book id and book issued equals one, book is issued equals zero. F seek file my size of struct book, seek score CR. F do write and book, size of struct book one file. Print F, book returned successfully and found equals one, break. If found, print F, invalid book id or book is not issued and F close file. Finally, the main menu to handle all operations. Int main int choice, while one printf n library management system. Printf one add book, printf two display all books. Print three issue book. Print four return book, print five exit. Print F enter your choice, scan F sent D and choice. Switch choice, case one add book break. Case 2, display books, break. Case 3, issue book, break. Case 4, return book, break. Case 5, exit 0. Default, printf, invalid choice n. Return 0. All right, now that we've saved the code and clicked on compile, the program successfully runs and displays library management system. Now let's test the program by entering book information. I entered ID 100, book name Snakes and Ladders, author T1. You can try adding your own book details. Go ahead and explore how the system handles the input. This step will help you understand how the logic works in real time. How does this work in real time? 1. Adding books stores the data permanently in a file using file handling. 
2. When you issue a book, we use pointers to directly modify the file and mark the book as issued. 3. When a book is returned, we update the file again. 4. All data is dynamically stored in memory, and when the program restarts, the data is loaded from the file. What concepts did we just use? Arrays, functions, file handling, pointers, structures, memory management. With this, you've mastered C programming from basic to advanced level. You can now build real-life applications like this library management system. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to Code With Me. Let's continue learning together. See you in the next video.